started the news agency because I'm a musician. First and foremost, I needed a space to launch my music and turned out that lots of other musicians wanted to do that. So here we are. <laughs> I went from me running a one woman band, essentially a one woman show. I had one other employee and then once I got the liquor license in, then I went from two people to 25 people in a very short space of time. When I was organising shifts, I would text people, I would Facebook, I would face to face in a very panicked way, <laughs> ask them to work for me. The process used to take me about 12 hours to rally staff, herd cats. So my accountant advised me that perhaps I should look at getting a rostering app that could do that work for me and get some of the hassle out of the small business. I love, I genuinely love how much <laughs> deputy saves me. I went from about 12 hours of admin a week to about now an hour or two. Even at a basic rate, I'm saving myself about $10,000 per year just on admin. Most people who work at the news agency are casual, they're artists, they're students, uh, they're musicians. There's a lot more to their lives than just their paycheck. My staff love the open shifts because they can claim shifts when they're available. If they can't work it, someone else can work it. There's no pressure. It becomes, especially as an employer, it becomes this low pressure situation. I don't feel like I've got this power over them. We're just working together for the greater good of music, really. Here we have Tessa Devine. She's an acoustic singer-songwriter. She does a lot of loops and speaks from the heart. She's very much the, the kind of artist who plays at the news agency. It gives me joy seeing other people enjoying music and I love the community. I love feeling like I belong somewhere. What Deputy's allowed me to do is fine tune my operational costs so that I've got more time to focus on the bigger picture. More gigs, more artists, more time spent on making Sydney's live music seem great.